This is my code. This is where my code is stored. Basically, I'm using GitHub. This is where my code is deployed. I'm using Firebase for deployment. And this is what my website looks like. Now, it's a pretty simple website, but the tutorial today is more about how can you use cool features like GitHub Actions so that you deploy your code as soon as you push it to GitHub. So if you're interested in learning that, you came at the right video. Now, first of all, I'm going to show all of this to you in action. I'm going to change maybe the title, I push my code, and then you will see that this website, which is deployed, will automatically, in a few seconds, generate a new build and deploy a new version. All right. So in my code, I'm going to change the title. Let's go with this. I'll save. Obviously, my local build has been updated. Let's see if this actually affects my deployed build. Here, if I refresh, there's no changes. Why? Because I haven't deployed anything yet. I haven't pushed anything to GitHub yet. I'm just going to push my code. As soon as I push on GitHub, there should be a new commit. And there should be a pipeline that is building for this new commit. There you go. It's automatically running the build and deploy actions for me. It's running npm install, npm run build. This command will make my Angular build ready. The next one will deploy my code to Firebase. And then there are some post run actions. I don't have any right now because it's a really simple project. I mean, as simple as it gets, but you get the idea. You can run tests here. You can run uh, pre-build checks here, whatever you want. But for me, it's very simple, okay? So the build is ready. Looks like now it's deploying to Firebase. All right, looks like the job is complete. We see the tick mark here, pretty good. Let's go and refresh our website. And there you go, like, comment, and share. They have made this so easy for us that you don't even need to know a lot of DevOps, a lot of, you know, how YAML files are implemented, how Firebase.json files implemented, all of that can be pre-built for you. I'm not saying that learning DevOps and learning those tricks are not useful. They're super useful, especially if you're stuck somewhere. But I'm just saying that if you're not interested in that, if you're just a front-end engineer or a back-end engineer and just want to focus on your code, it's a beautiful feature that Firebase and GitHub came out with. Now let's learn how to do this. So here, as you can see, I'm making a brand new Angular project so that I can show you all the steps from scratch. All right, packages installed successfully. Let's go ahead and open this new project in Visual Studio Code. And by the way, I think I haven't mentioned this, but if you want to refer to any code that is shown in this video, you just need to go to earlskillaway.com slash GitHub Actions. That's all. The link is here right in front of you, as well as down in the description below. So go ahead and see the code. There you would be able to see the steps I followed, the code I followed. And for any video, any tutorial that we make, skillaway.com is going to be the website where you can go and just check out in detail what we talked about and what we show you on the screens here. Now let's go ahead, open the terminal and start working with the new project that we just created. I'm using multiple node versions, so I'll just go to node 20 and run this command again. All right. Now this is a brand new project. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to push it to GitHub and I'm going to deploy it on Firebase and then I'm going to connect both of them and show you how to do this so that you can actually implement this in any project you have. So here I just created a new GitHub repo. I'm going to link it with my project now. The code should be pushed now to GitHub. There you go. It's my first commit ever. And this has the initial Angular project. Nothing special. So far, it's really basic, really simple. Now let's deploy this to Firebase. So I'm going to run the command Firebase init now, which is short for Firebase initialize. When you're running Firebase in it, you have two options. Either you can create a project right here on the command line, or you can simply use the Firebase UI to create a new project. I prefer using the Firebase UI because it's really easy. So let's go ahead and put a project name. I'm going to say demo GitHub. Let's go ahead, default account. So in a few seconds, you will see that our new project on Firebase is spawn up. And then we just have to connect Angular code with Firebase and voila, the Firebase project is ready. Let's go ahead, Firebase in it. I want to choose hosting. I want to use an existing project. And let's find our newly made project. So there you go, that's my project that I just created on, on Firebase UI, Firebase console. Let's set it up. Do you want to use 
your public directory. Now, this is where you need to know a little bit about Angular and how it works and what happens when a build is created. Now, luckily, I've already done this before, so I'm going to show you exactly what directory you need to put in. But for now, I'll just let it go. I'll just say public, and then we'll edit it ourselves, okay? Automatic builds and deploys with GitHub. Yes, absolutely, I want to do that. So now it will wait for authentication, and it's going to ask us to authenticate. All right, so now I am in my GitHub account. It has already authenticated my GitHub. Now it's asking me for which GitHub repository would you like to set up the GitHub workflow? So it needs to know what repository are we trying to link with. So my repository that I just created is this. Demo GitHub Actions. So I'm just going to copy this and then we are good to go. Set up a workflow to run build script before every deploy. Why not? What script would you like to run before you deploy? NPM CI and NPM run build is exactly what I'm looking for. Automatic deployment to your site live channel when a PR is merged? Absolutely. What's the name of the GitHub branch associated with your site's live channel? Well, in my case, it's main. For you, it might be main or master. That's usually the branch that we use. Now, the good thing is we can also set these steps up for different branches. For example, you can have a dev branch or a staging branch, which whenever something is pushed to, it can automatically deploy to a dev environment or staging environment because a lot of times people don't want to send something to production right when you push the code, but it's really up to you. So it says that writing the project, it has updated two files, Firebase JSON and Firebase SRC. Now. These things might seem a bit too overwhelming for you, so I'm going to make it very simple. So far, all we have done is we have created a Firebase repo, we have created a GitHub repo, and we have pushed Angular code to it and connected them with each other. We haven't deployed anything yet because we have one piece of information missing, which I will show you right now. So here it has created some YAML files. What they do is, as soon as that code is pushed, it's going to run some commands, npm ci, which is npm install, the install, and npm run build. Now, why is our code being built when someone runs npm run build? Well, the answer to that is in your, in your package.json file. You see that when someone runs npm run build, ng build is run in the background. So you don't even need to know, you don't even need to understand what's happening behind the scenes, but I'm just giving you a little extra so that you have more idea. Right, so this command is run when someone runs npm run build, so that's good. Now, how can you know what folder is Angular usually distinct to? Let's run the command npm run build, and you will have the answer. As soon as I run the build command, you can see that it created a new folder called dist, D I S T. Inside that, it has another folder, which is name of my project. Inside that, there's another folder called browser. So, what you actually need to do is you need to give that path over here, dist name of your project and browser. And I'm going to delete the public folder because I really don't need it. All right. Now, hopefully, as soon as I push my code and if my steps are correct, if my directories are correct, the video should end soon, right? Because our goal should be accomplished. Let's see what happens when we push the code. Refresh. There's a new commit. Awesome. And there you go. There's a build that's running. Let's go into it and check the details. All right, first part is successful, npm ci, npm run build. This is the main thing that happens with our every commit, every push. And you can also go to just the actions tab over here and you will see everything that's happening for your website behind the scenes. I also want to check the status of my Firebase console. Is has anything changed here or not? Let's check it out. Let's refresh again. There you go, it says it's deployed. Let's click this website. And it says we have two URLs already. This is uh, just different URLs that by default, Firebase would give you. You can add your custom domain, obviously, if you have bought a domain, but let's just check it out. All right, we have deployed our website. Final test, I'm going to now change something in the code and push again. Some celebration, push. Let's refresh. Obviously, things might not have changed yet because our build might be running. So let's go to actions and check them out. There you go. This is my latest commit. Change text. In a few seconds, this build should be complete. My code should be deployed. You have learned what you need to do to use GitHub Actions and Firebase and Angular. And I'm going to go out and enjoy myself. And it's really cool. It just takes a minute to complete approximately. As you can see, the last build took one minute and one seconds. 
and this build should also be close to completion 45 seconds have passed already there you go so simple so easy i really love it i hope you learned something from this video so if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below like this video if you learned anything new and share this with all of your fellow developers who would like to learn this now thank you very much as i said again check out the website askillaway.com there you would see all the new features and all the videos that we build and you will see the code for each and every video so that's linked down in the comments below and in the description below see you next time 